Welcome back everyone, let's go ahead and talk about the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and see how it holds up in 2021. Now first of all, I will tell you 100% of the fact the Galaxy S10 Plus is still a really good device even compared to the S21 Plus that just came out. Now I'll find the cheapest Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus on Amazon, link it down in the description below. You can get it from there and help support the channel at the same time. Now the front of the S10 Plus has that pretty big 6.4 inch dynamic AMOLED display. It's a 1440p panel and what's really cool about it is that you do have that dual camera setup on the front which definitely looks more interesting than the standard hole punch displays that we have. There's a little bit of bezel on the top and bottom but other than that this is a really really good panel for sure. It curves on the sides and I can only imagine the only thing that this screen is missing is something like you know 120 hertz or 90 hertz refresh rate but other than that this is still a really really good panel for sure and i've you know seen a lot of panels in my day and this is not a bad panel this is still a beautiful panel for sure now on the bottom you do have the usb type c port and a headphone jack which is really cool on this device even though it's you know just a couple years old you still have those type of io ports which is cool you do have a micro sd card slot on this device as well so even though it's a little bit older you still have so much capability within this device with just the micro sd card slot in and of itself you have ip certification on this phone too which is great and on the back the standard glass back no frosted back or anything like that but it's still a pretty good feature set on this device you know because you have wireless charging and reverse wireless charging on this phone so it still has a lot of features that a lot of the flagship of this year or in 2020 were just getting the oneplus 8 pro just got reverse wireless charging even the pixels they don't have you know reverse wireless charging they have wireless charging or reverse charging but no reverse wireless charging so this device still has a lot of capability when it comes down to it for sure and even feeling the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus in the hand, 100% of the fact is still a humongous reason why to pick it up. It does not feel like a cheap phone. And one thing about it, it doesn't even feel like a crazy big phone. You know, when I've been using the Note 20 Ultras, the S20 Ultras as well, these phones are massive phones. The Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus doesn't really feel like that. Either that's a pro or a con for you. Maybe you want a phone like that. Me personally, I like having a smaller type of phone, but I, I like having big phones too. And this definitely has that sweet spot. It's a great feeling phone in the hand and it still looks so beautiful. So in terms of the outside, that pretty much covers it up. But let's go ahead and hit on the cameras. So the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus has a triple camera setup on the back. And I always call this the triple threat because it's the three most important cameras a phone can have. So it has a 12 megapixel wide angle lens, a 12 megapixel telephoto lens, then a 16 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Now what's extremely important about this and it's very important is that as long as basically this is what this camera can do, it can zoom in a bunch and it can zoom out a bunch. So you have a bunch of different capability with this device. The macro and depth lenses and LiDAR sensors, I think those are important as well. But these are basically the core functionality that any camera that comes out in 2021 should definitely have. So in my opinion, this camera set is still extremely good. You have the ability of shooting 4K at 60 on the back, and that's extremely important. You know, obviously we have 8K and all this other stuff, but the fact that this device can shoot, you know, 4K at 60 is still perfectly fine in my opinion. And when you have this type of device, you're not going to feel like you have an outdated camera. What's really good about this device is that the software is also really good in terms of the camera. I don't think the software is amazing, but the camera software is really good because you have so many different features in this camera set. And as I stated before, that's a super important thing to have. You want to have as many features in the camera as you can. It can get a little confusing sometimes, but the fact that this thing has, you know, the craziest, not craziest, but it has really good features for a mobile device is a really cool thing in my opinion. On the front, as I stated before, you do have that dual camera setup. So you have a 10 megapixel wide angle lens, then you have an 8 megapixel wide angle lens as well. Now, I mean, it's up to you whether you're going to use that other sensor or not, but I think the most important thing about this device is that you do have that 4K at 60, which is really good. And any device that has this type of camera set is pretty much similar to what we're getting nowadays, even in 2021. Really, the main difference is that the newer, you know, Samsung phones can do, you know, 8K and stuff, but I still think 4K at 60 is extremely good. I shoot all my videos on my phones with my camera on my YouTube channel and stuff, all in 1080p. So I I don't plan on switching to 4k anytime soon but that's really it i mean definitely for sure when it comes down to it 4k at 60 is a really good thing to have for both the front and the back of these cameras so in terms of that that pretty much covers it up now software wise this is another area where i kind of mentioned that this phone it just isn't really amazing and i think the software longevity has gotten better this phone did get another software year of support so i think that's really good so instead of ending, so it's not ending this year, it's obviously ending next year. 
So that's really good. I mean, it got, it's going to be getting Android 11 very soon if it already hasn't already gotten it. And it's going to be getting Android 12. Now, I don't know if it's going to be getting security updates after that. I can only imagine. But the one thing I've never really liked about, you know, Samsung devices is their software. One UI is not my favorite software. It's definitely not amazing. You know, some people may prefer it, but I'm somebody who likes stock Android. I like, you know, stock Android, obviously on the pixels. I like, you know, Oxygen OS that's on OnePlus devices. This is definitely a little bit more bloated. It has gotten better. I've you know handled one ui3 and stuff but i still prefer you know stock android so in terms of software that pretty much covers it up now performance wise this thing does have the qualcomm snapdragon 855 chipset an octa-core cpu and adreno 640 gpu and 8 gigs of ram on the base models and 12 gigs of ram on the top tier model now what i can tell you about the performance of this device is that it's still a really good performing machine first of all 8 gigs of ram on the base models that's still more RAM than the S21, or it's the same amount of RAM as the S21 and the S21 Plus. But the 12 gig of RAM option on the S20, on the S10 Plus is more than either the S21 or S21 Plus can actually be equipped with. So that in and of itself is another crazy thing about the S10 Plus. So if you get the top tier model, the S10 Plus, you're getting more RAM than both the S21 and the S21 Plus. But that's even just in the RAM management section. The RAM management is still really good, but really anything you're going to do about this phone is going to be perfectly fast. You know, if you're somebody who does a bunch of light tasks on your phone, if you're just somebody who wants to go ahead, you know, just text people, call people, go on Snapchat, you know, Snapchat people back. The cameras on here are good, like I stated. If you want to go on Instagram and multitask between those apps and even do some schoolwork, if you want to photo edit it, something like that, like you're going to be perfectly fine on this device. This is not going to be a slow machine. It's not going to be, you know, under equipped you still have a lot of capability on this phone it's only just a couple years old however even with you know heavier intensive gaming if you're somebody who wants to you know download the craziest games and play them on here you're probably going to be able to handle it this phone is not going to be a slow phone you know by any means it's going to be handle pretty much everything you throw at it but there is kind of a little bit of a downside and that's the smoothness factor i've said this year over year over year basically the smoothness factor of this device it's not really there you know it's not really like a super smooth device it's not like you're going to power this thing on and feel like you still have a super you know up-to-date phone as of this point because when you have you know the 120 hertz refresh rates and all that stuff that really adds a lot to the whole entire smoothness factor so that's a humongous thing to keep in mind the one thing that androids are really getting better at is making the overall performance smoother because of the refresh rate i really wish it would because of the software but with the newer versions of software and the newer phones they're definitely getting better but for sure when it comes down to it this device the fastest the speed is all there it just so happens that the smoothest factor just isn't really there right now but in terms of performance that pretty much covers it up now ending it off with the battery life this device has a pretty big 4100 million power battery inside of it now like i stated this thing also has reverse wireless charging and all that good stuff which is great is it crazy i mean it's kind of still a really good battery we have gotten pretty big batteries recently with other devices but i think this device still has a really good battery inside of it too when it comes down to it so in terms of battery life that pretty much covers it up now to kind of sum up this whole entire video and to answer their question is the samsung galaxy s10 plus still worth it in 2021 well this is pretty much what i'll tell you okay first of all so first of all just let me hit on the pros real quick i mean this device has a beautiful display in front of it i mean it's still a really good panel it's not ugly it has so much capability with that dual camera setup on the front it's such a nice touch and it still looks like a beautiful phone you have usb type c port headphone jack with samsung dex which is awesome the micro SD card slot on this device as well is something that none of the Samsung Galaxy S series of 2021 brought. So this phone has that capability, which in and of itself is another cool thing about it. The glass on the back with the reverse wireless charging is amazing. It still feels like a very premium phone. It does not feel cheap at all. That triple camera setup on the back as well is another huge thing about this device. I mean, when you pick up this phone, it's not going to give you a bad experience. It's going to have a beautiful camera setup on it. It's not going to feel cheap. It's definitely not going to give you like an experience that's, you know, you're going to feel like you have a, you know, a 2019 phone or that you have a two-year-old phone. If you pick up this phone this year, even next year, you're still going to feel like you have a pretty current phone. Now, not everything is perfect. There are a few downsides, not an insane amount, but the software definitely isn't something I would brag about. I think the software support has gotten better. You know, it's getting an extra year of support. So I think that's something that's worth bragging about. But I, I don't think, you know, One UI is my favorite. You know, to you it may be. But I think something like, you know, stock Android on this device would have been perfect. You can always throw a custom launcher on here and be, you know, perfectly fine. But I think the Galaxy S10 Plus, its strong suits are the hardware. You know, what's inside, what's outside. 
This software isn't really the strong suit besides the longevity, but if you're okay with One UI 3 or One UI 2 or whatever you get this phone on, then I think you're going to be having a really, really good experience with this device. You can even pick up this phone at this point and pick it up and, and sell it off next year and still feel like you had a really good experience with it. Really, whatever you're going to do with it on a day-to-day -day basis is going to be perfectly fine, and I'll definitely tell you, if you're planning on picking up the Galaxy S10+, Plus, I would definitely recommend it for sure. So, that really pretty much covers it up. Like I stated, if you want to pick up the S10+, Plus, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. If you guys have any other questions as well, let me know in the comment section as well. <laughs> hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I'll every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.